Hey, 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 boys and girls. Yeah, it's been a few weeks, eight weeks, since I last posted, oh, seven-ish weeks, since I last posted anything about Diary of a Dad. So I figured I'd give you a update about what has been happening. So I took a month off work, starting from when they, the day they were born, to help out my wife. Um, that was intense. Like, I think the hardest part was I've never, I've always been someone who slept really well. So to go from sleeping well to waking up every three hours was really hard. Initially it was kind of hard, but after that it was super hard. Like not as hard as the very first night where I was up back every 10 minutes and my brain is screaming for sleep while I'm up. <laughs> that was not as hard as the hospital. The hospital was next level hard. Next level not sleeping. Next level every waking moment is baby, 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 kind of. And still to that to an extent, but I guess when once we got home, it was a bit much. All right, since they're twins, they slept a lot. They slept. They sleep a lot or slept a lot. They don't so much now. Uh, so it was very much feed, back to sleep. We we'll often go off and do our separate things. I played video games and watched some TV. My wife just watched TV, you know, and that was just kind of our life. Another thing that really came up, and I want to state right here, I'm not an expert on this crap. Don't take my advice. Deal. Yeah. When it comes to things like mental health, get help. Yeah. Don't do this crap alone. But anyway. Which I found, I got, like, they always say about freaking, um, baby blues and stuff for the, for the women, and like, hey, you can get depressed and stuff like that, and it didn't affect my wife, but I found I was very getting, I'd freak out, and get, I don't know if I, what you'd say, baby blues or whatever, but just, I'd get really upset. I think part of it was, I don't know, a sense of feeling trapped. A sense of like, is you know, by yeah, by the time it hit, it had been two weeks or something. Like really hit, and it's just like I hadn't done anything other than like nonstop take care of baby. Never, you know, I want to go home, just like never leave the house, and you know, being a very yeah, energetic person, that was just that was hard. And I'm not saying, oh, woe is me, my life is so hard. But it was just that, that sense of not only feeling trapped, but all this extra and excess responsibility that I was then dealing with. And it all just kind of became a bit too much. But I spoke to my wife about it, and we worked, we worked through it. If things had been more intense, I completely would have gone and you taken something for it or, you know, gone and got help. But, you know, that's just how it fell. Since then, things have been pretty cool. Uh, went back to work about four weeks in. So that was interesting. Um, yeah. Work's been fine. The kids have been getting bigger and getting heavier and stuff like that. I'll insert some photos here, you know, just a, a slideshow of uh, them, maybe one or two clips or something, I don't know, but yeah, work's been cool, I guess, a lot of people have been yelling at me recently, but that's not your problem, nor has anything to do with kids, customers are just stupid people, impatient people, never, don't yell, you know, retail person, no matter what things are screwed up, if they personally have been rude and stuff, just make a complaint. Like, man, don't be that, don't be that freaking dickhead. Man, don't be that person. That just freaking yells at the service people. It's not their job, it's not their freaking paycheck. It's like, they don't get paid, oh, you just pay their paycheck. But man, it's not in their paycheck to put up with you screaming at them. Come on, dude. Don't be that person. Anyway, I get on a tangent. But yeah, I've been looking after them and I've been Working, getting back late, and then on the day, because I've been, I'm now sleeping again. Because when I'm back to work, I right? was so like, "Well, I'll take care of the kids at night on the, yeah, you know, so you can sleep and get some 
for the next day. And I'm like, well, on the days I don't have work, the next day, like Friday night, Saturday night, I'll take care of the kids. I'll, I'll do all the feeds. I'll just and just let you sleep. The only drawback to that is she's got to <clears throat> elbow me because she wakes up whenever they cry, but I don't. I'm a very heavy sleeper. I've always been a very heavy sleeper. Not that I don't care. It's just that I've never really been super woken up by anything. So even like the first month, it was, come on, wake up. It's time to feed them. So. This is what's going on now. So, yeah. That is the update. Playing less video games, obviously, now that I'm back at work. I just play them on the train at the moment. Speaking of which, I've got to get to recording. So, I'll see you later. Bye.